The idea behind it was really to explore as an artist where your inspiration comes from. Okay. So I worked with filmmaker Rod, Rob Reed. We flew back on location to Northern Ireland where I'm from originally. And the film was really about exploring the cultural differences between 1970 and present day. Okay. So obviously I grew up in Northern Ireland in the 70s. Life was a little bit grim. Politics was what it was. And we used to escape to these amazing landscapes and vistas. Um, now as an artist, I have been painting landscapes, so I wanted to explore where that came from. Okay. And actually it's been a really interesting process because uh, by going back and re-exploring some of the areas and touch points where we were back in the day, it's really made me understand what all my inspiration, colour palettes, sounds that matter to me are. Mm. And really, Northern Ireland's quite unique. You can be in the city in quite a derelict area in five minutes and ten minutes away are the most beautiful landscapes ever. It's, it sounds like it's quite a personal story in a many ways because this is where you get your inspiration from like you say. Was there, was there ever a moment when you're making the film where you thought to yourself no this is too personal I don't want to share this with people? Yeah I actually find it very difficult believe it or not to be on camera okay. uh, and always as, as an artist it's quite a solitary practice you're in a studio you're making you're working through ideas um, and so I wanted to work with a filmmaker that would really uh, help me through that process. Um, and it was very personal. Uh, I think both of us felt that during the, the process. And you mentioned you, uh, you know, your, your filmmaking helper, Rob Reed. Um, was, Rob, was Rob the perfect choice for this? Because obviously you and Rob were friends before. Yeah, he absolutely was. His sensibility mm -hmm. and his ability to really capture the moment um, there was a beautiful, uh, poignant moment where we were filming in uh, Tullymore Forest, which is best known for Game of Thrones oh, okay. background scenarios. And as a filmmaker, he sees a lot of very nice things. And he just looked at me and he said, you know, this is such a treat. Just look at where we are, look at the light, look, everything is just perfect. So we were really lucky and the weather was good. For once. For once. <laughs> for once.